I really have no idea what I'm doing. Do you want this tip of the iceberg slide? Which, by the way, was handcrafted by SlideCow, meaning it is 100% customizable for absolutely free? Then please do us a favor. Click on the first link in our description and sign up to our mailing list for tons of updates and exclusive content. Your welcome email to our mailing list will consist of a download link for the slide. Also, if you have Facebook, please go to facebook.com slash slidecow and follow our page. Thanks guys. Welcome back to another video from SlideCow. My name is Yoyo and together we're going to make your slides amusing. This week's video is going to show you two awesome hacks to help you save time with your shapes and your images on PowerPoint. Why did I call them smart art hacks? Because we're going to be using PowerPoint's smart art feature to do it. My only request is for you to approach this tutorial with an open mind. Apply the techniques I show you to create the perfect PowerPoint slide in no time. Let's get into this one. Smart art hack number one, picture hacking. This is probably a familiar sight for all of you, maybe not so much the cows, but maybe you have all of these images scattered across your PowerPoint slide and you're trying to make them all the exact same size. So many of you just waste your time clicking on a single image, going to crop, and then just trying to you know find the perfect square and then trying to go to the next image to do just that. Now, I'm here to tell you that there is a much easier solution, ladies and gentlemen. Highlight everything that you have over here, go to format, go to picture layout, and then pick whichever layout that you would like, right? That would best suit the shape for your images. So you might want it like this, you might want it like this, you might want it like this, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to be picking this one just to show you what you can do on PowerPoint to help you save time. Once you're done, you're going to have a smart art object where you can edit the text any way you'd like and whatever. But you don't want that, you just want the images. So instead what you're going to do is you're going to click on this object, press on Control shift g to ungroup it, and then press it again to ungroup it one more time, and suddenly you have all of these images freestanding over here. Now a lot of you are going to say, but wait, this cow over here, the bottom right cow, it's not centered into the image. Well, there's a way to fix that as well, my friends. Click on any image that you'd like, uh, that you want to fix, click on format on the right here, click on crop, and just hold shift and just move that up any way you'd like. Perfect. Now say you don't want curved rectangles, no problem. Highlight all of these images, click on format, click on crop, click on crop to shape, and click on any shape that you'd like. So I like this square shape, I'm gonna go with that, and boom. They're all the exact same size, meaning that you can resize them all, just like this, and it'd be fine. Smart art hack number two, shape hacking. How many times have you stayed late in the office making individual shapes like this with text in them? So if, for example, I wanna put in number one here, and then I make another shape with a number two here, and then another shape with a number three here, and so on. How many times have you guys done that? Well, I'm here to tell you that there's actually an easier way to do that. What you need to do is go to insert and then click on smart art, which is right over here. Over here, you're going to be presented with loads and loads and loads of smart art graphics. What I need you to do is choose a graphic where you have a specific layout in mind. Let me explain what I mean. I'm looking for boxes going in a vertical path. So for example, over here, these are boxes going downwards. That's exactly what I want. Or maybe over here, these are boxes going downwards. That's exactly what I want. So I'm just gonna pick one of them. So let's say this one over here, okay? I'm gonna click on okay. And on this side of the text, I'm just gonna put in some different names. So for example, I'm gonna put in John, I'm gonna put in Mary, I'm going to put in, I don't know, uh, Tim, I'm going to put in Ed, and I'm going to put in a Richard over here, okay? I'm going to also just delete this, and this, and this. So I now have five names over here going downwards. That's the layout I want. When I'm happy with the names, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically resize it so that I'm happy with, for example, the overall positioning and the size of the shape. Once that's done and you're all happy, just press on Control, Shift, 
G to ungroup it and then press on control shift G again to ungroup it one more time. And now what you have are five individual shapes that you can edit any way that you'd like. I'd like to stress this any way that you'd like. So if for example, I want to change the shape, no problem. I'll just go to format. I'll just go to edit shape, change shape, and I'll make it a uh, straight cornered rectangle over here. Maybe I want to change the color, no issues. Maybe I want to add an outline, no issues. Maybe I want to move this up and I want to decrease its size and I want to move this up as well and make this just a slightly larger size, no problem. It is completely customizable to how you'd like it. And now I'm just going to delete all these shapes so I can get into my next point. So one thing for you guys to keep in mind is that you can actually use the smart art feature to look for specific shapes as well. So for example, let's go to insert, let's go to smart art again, and let's look for a specific and unique shape that you didn't have access to before. So for example, let's see if I can find me this shape right here, this funnel. I like this funnel. I want to use this funnel on my PowerPoint slide. So I'm going to click over here and click OK. I'm just going to ungroup it and ungroup it again and I'm going to delete everything else. So this, this, and this. So let's just press our control X and delete everything. And then paste that, and then just group it up together. And there you go. You have your own individual funnel, which is completely customizable. So I want to change the color, no problem. I want to change the color of this as well, no issues. As you can see, there are loads of things that you can do with the smart art hack. And with that, hopefully I showed you guys how to save time on PowerPoint. I'll see you all next week. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please, please do visit slackcow.com. Have a great one.